So I think people have kind of a general knowledge of what interior designers do, but I think that their overall opinion of kind of what an interior designer does is, is not accurate. So can you go into a little bit of detail on the types of different services that you offer and, you know, ranging from the scope of, of the types of projects? I, I agree. And I think that HGTV is kind of like Pinterest for hairstylists. They hate it. So <laughs> everybody, it has, <laughs> everybody has um, kind of a false perception now that there's so many home shows on TV. Mm -hmm. Um, everybody expects the process to say, I don't know my style, this is my budget, and they want to walk into a completely done house. And that's not the case. Um, so setting the expectations up front of, first of all, the services that I do provide and what's realistic, I found to be helpful. So again, it's all been a learning process for me and each sure. client is different. So I do everything from home staging to home staging consultations to interior design, decor, e-design, um, just mood boards. So if somebody, you know, they kind of know how to put things together, but they just need to know what, what items to put in an area, then we just do a board for them that buy room of all the items so they can kind of get a visual, but it's not the layout of the room. So the e-design shows the layout of a room. So if gotcha. somebody's struggling with that, it's basically the same thing. You get the mood board with mm -hmm. it, but then you have the layout of where everything needs to go. A drawing or a rendering of the room with the actual furniture or pieces that you're talking about getting in place within that right. room. Right, Gives people kind of a better overall uh, visual perspective on what the room's gonna look yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, and so if, even if the room is an odd size or an odd shape, then that's usually what people struggle with. Or if there's windows in weird places, they don't know where to put things. So yeah, that's when the e-design comes in, and that's nice for, I mean, that can be, most of my clients that do that are remote. I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. if, if you're local, I'm most likely gonna go to your house. So sure. that's more so for out-of-state clients, and same with mood boards okay. as well what I do for you and um, several other agents is going in to homes that are getting ready to go on the market, right? So um, decluttering, depersonalizing, helping the homeowners to get things ready for the house to go on the market and you, to get the listing photos. It's usually a list that people can go through, whether it's cleaning up baseboards, painting baseboards, painting um, you know, the walls. If the walls are a crazy color, then we want to get those something more sure. neutral that's appealing to the masses. Depersonalizing, that's a big thing, is taking down family photos, so that kind of thing. So yes, helping to get it ready to go on the market rather than coming in and bringing a bunch of furniture into a vacant house. So what you're essentially doing is helping individuals who want to sell their home stage it using their existing furniture right. and kind of showing it in the best light. Right, exactly.